Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania. Suki of the Gnat. Break that for a Zirconia. Ah, uh, I guess I can send my invitation uh, to Bonton. Anyway, in the save point here, though, that way, ignore the right for now and continue heading upwards. These long corridors in the reverse caverns. Hop in here real quick. Don't want that. Get these things out. Nice little heart max up here. These enemies back again. Easily dealt with. Just missed right there. Make this quicker. If only I could like get an extra jump out of that, but then that would probably be like abusable speedrun tactics or whatever. I'm not sure. Don't know. The wolf's definitely part of that equation. If you want to do that speedrun. I know you can run through certain rooms or whatever. I'm talking like legit. Tool assisted might be slightly different just because you can break the sequence break and stuff like that. Anyway, in here, hidden in the bottom is a thing of peanuts. And you can keep coming back to get more. They work differently from other food items. You throw them up and you try and catch them in your mouth to actually eat them. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So at least they give you more than one with that. So. Anyway, we gotta head back down now. Continue to move up. And our high jump to get there as quickly as possible. Whoop. Too high. Should be another. Whoop, not that way. At least not just yet. Make sure we get this other safe point on this side. You're gonna wanna stop there. Use that. Cause this next area here. But well, first, break through that. But don't go that way just yet, because we got a boss to fight over here. <gasps> Doppelganger, we meet again! Wanted to use a different sword on him. I have something called the Terminus Est, which is poison damaging. That way he doesn't do that much damage. There's a lot of ways to fight this guy. Just know that he's vulnerable to different status effects like your different weapons. He also likes to use the bouncy crystal. Also poison me as well. I this fight a little bit longer, but not too much. I'll wait till that wears off. But first, we'll grab this life mix up. Going further left. Zirconia up here. Grab that real quick. Don't want to go down yet. I'm gonna keep going this way. To grab. Oh, nothing. Oh well. Completion! Oh wow, a lot of these enemies. Good place to, uh... Apparently they bleed a lot, so any weapon that's powered by that... ...will become more powerful down here, and you can just stand here and grind. Because look, they bleed, you can just keep the electric off. Still poison, that's why I'm not doing that much damage to these things. I'm just gonna ignore them and go this way. Oh, there's more over here. Does my attack still suck? No, I'm done poisoned. I just take a lot of hits. Okay. Maybe I can move across because I don't have to don't have to kill these enemies. But in here we get the dark blade. Now we can move through that second corridor, map that out, and see what's over there. And there's shiitake. Ow, more of these enemies. Right up as is this area. Oh, these imps are back. I need to grab a holdy and make you swing your sword around and use up your MP. But down here, it's an opal. It's possible for a game to give you too many things to do. Because, especially with someone like me who easily gets lost. In retrospect, this was probably a bad idea to say I was going to do this 200, uh, complete 200.6%, because... These things are a pain in the ass. Ah, 
God damn it. Good news is I got my axe back. Okay, I w it just wraps completely around, I guess. Goes, m brings me back down here. So, with that, I'm gonna head up to where that breakable ceiling was just before the doppelganger level 40 boss fight. And through the ceiling we go. Well, you have the water thing from before. Now, these rooms always used to stump me because there's some of these that don't fully map out. You'll know you'll fully map out an area if you see like a little white border. Fuck. Alright, fuck this. You call down the fucking thunder, you're gonna get it, bitch! Okay, it's not this room, but there's an area where you don't get the white border up here. What you have to do is move up. And I think turn into the... Yeah, you turn into the wolf and it'll like push you in a little further into the wall again. It's weird. It doesn't make sense, but apparently it's the only way to get that, so... And I thought that was the only thing I was missing because I played this game enough times to think, okay, maybe I can do 200.6%, but nah, I... I missed, I think, like, less than 10 rooms, but those those rooms are enough, so. That said, they do tie into getting the best ending, which I did get and will show off, so. If nothing else, you'll have that to look forward to. Just kind of bummed I couldn't deliver on that. I don't know if I promised it, but I all but said I was going to try and go for it. Here, for the Force of Echo, now our little uh, echo location with the bat does damage. That's all that does. Okay. Yeah, see all that room? I gotta do that as the wolf. I'm not gonna waste time doing that. I'm just gonna go to that right, and as you can see, that uh, little square over there to the right of the save point. See, there's no borders, so I'm gonna explore that area next. Now we're back in this room, like I said. This time, not going down that way. We're just gonna continue right. Another shiitake mushroom. Rock guys and shit. Again, you want to map these areas out. These fish can be helpful because they sometimes like to drop aquamarines for you. Keep going further for a heart max up. Further to the right. It's up here like much but again like before if you want to map them out you are going for that use the wolf thing to push you up into the ceiling which I didn't even know about so I l actually looked it up on an FAQ it seems like a stupid thing to do but mm, that's what you gotta do anyway, free potion here also a life max up up here continuing on one well, of these rock knights one of those no bitch Two of them here. And here. Might have to do it. There's the wolf. I can do it as missed. There we go. Bat pentagram. Do that rush. Yeah, I'm coming up on the waterfall again. Garnet right here, real quick. Make our way up. We gotta go past it into some of these areas. Oh, over this side had a couple of shrooms I see. Let's do that first. Oh, toadstool. We passed here into this little cave here again. Osafuni katana. Didn't even see it. Because I thought it was above because I thought there was an item above me. Also map that out later if you want. You can go this way. Make like a bone. Nope, not not there. But again, all this you have to do is the wolf to map it all out. Touch the ceilings. Okay, go 
tools. Shit, I guess I'm just making sure. Get every item I can get. And also come back here and grind for that 2,000. I don't think there's anything up here. No! No, there wasn't. How about up here? So might be a little over here. Oh, I see a little nook over here. With nothing in it. Great. And happen here for the Alucard Shield. This area where I neglected to go down at first. Pop on and see what's in here. Oh, shiitake mushroom. Oh, and a heart. Oh, we're back in the uh, first area of the game, only it's all inverted now. Not gonna explore it completely just yet. I'm just gonna pop in here real quick. Get a few easy items. Pot roast. But remember, we also have to... Run through as the bat. Wolf. Come out as the bat. Make sure that get that upper area open. And this opens up to reveal... Zircon, Opal, and a barrel circlet. A little bit off the beaten path to get that barrel circlet, but trust me, we're going to be kneeling it for later. Anyway, back here toward the hole we ignored earlier. Now the reverse cave. You're normal enemies too. Once again, just like all those axe armors. I believe up here... Another save point. And now we want to take the middle exit here. Oh, the Slavras. Normal enemies too, I see. Okay, and head on in here for... Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Oh, it's about time I take care of you for stealing my shit earlier. I get the holy sword now up in my hands. I'm gonna fuck you up. You beat him up enough times, just dodge his size he throws out. Second form, wait till he attacks, get around to the other side and hit him. That actually hit. Wow. That would have made me super salty if that killed me. Anyway, he's done. The final flat item is ours. And with these, we can end the game, but there's a lot more areas to go through. So if we want to get the best ending, like I mentioned, so let's do that. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. Let him do his magic. Up in here. Get a, this false wall here for green tea. Also a power of sire and a life apple. Still haven't gotten all our Alucard stuff back just yet. We're still missing a few. But again, we also got better stuff in the meantime, like I said. I do have his cloak. I don't have a sword or his god's garb or whatever. Make our way through. All the way up here to the four-way section here. Pop off and go to the right real quick. And we get our sword back. To the left of us is another portal. We need to go up to move on. Thank you, mushroom. There's a lot of these down here. I should mumped to my ears and iron balls because that one enemy he likes to drop them. That spike ball enemy I punched to death back at the Witcher Call to get my levels up really high. And right for another power of sire. Head left. The next area. The floating catacombs. These big jumps here. And to the right first for a save point. So that gives us more items. Grab this magic missile and a buffalo star. No doubt you've noticed by now my sword familiar looks a little different. That's because at level 50, like I mentioned before, 
It stumps being a familiar. It'll fly off into your inventory. You can use it as an equipable sword. But uh, you can also level up even stronger by going to the familiar, the relics page rather. Familiar just shows off how much experience they each has. You go to the relics page, bring it back out, and level it up even further. With that, we gotta head our way back to the left now. Okay, now to the left. These enemies can be tricky. Ow. Part of their attack is they summon out cats. And there's a circlet that heals that. It's called the Cat's Eye Circlet. I don't think I have that on me. I forget. There's just so many items. Can't remember them all. Anything in here? Sort of familiar. Is doing its business taking care of these bats. Odds are your familiar will level up faster than you do. Oh, that's taken care of. We went ahead to the left first. These are back, because I didn't kill him the first time. Watch out! Bouncy crystal, Bible. Ah, not the salt. Give me my axe. I'm gonna just get around them, try to get their shields that they put up. It's just one to the bottom left. Never mind, I already had it on. Go through. Blood skeletons in another yellow. And ah, the bouncer. Two karma coins. Resist fire, resist thunder. Go to this corner here first for a red bean bun. And the right. More blood skeletons. They're everywhere! Here for a elixir and a library card. Now we get ahead. Oh, looks like there's something to the upper right. That's where our next stop is. Now to the upper path to the right, like I said. More of these blood skeletons. What sort of familiar have his fun if he wants? Ooh, hey. Free max ups. Frozen halves. Oh, regular skeletons this time. Now that's inverted, I think everything's ice rather than fire. So, potion. Attack potion. Hidden wall through here. For our necklace of J that we had as Alucard in the beginning and dropped it. Now we gotta head this way. Blood skeletons of every color. All of them unkillable. Here for nothing. Here for a save point. And the diamond, the most expensive gem of the game. I think it gives like a ten. I think if you sell it for ten thousand, means to here. Should be the most powerful boss in the entire game. We have to prepare for this one. Chrysagram. Shield Dragon Helm. That barrel circlet we picked up. Put that on because one of his attacks is lightning based and you're going to need all the HP you get. Let's put it on God's Garb, giving ourselves a little more defense. Don't need the you know, Arcana at this point. Throw on the gauntlet and a little more attack. Hmm. Actually, we could show off the sword familiar. Ooh. Uh, that's how strong it is. It'll only get even stronger later. Uh, I think I'm going to go Chris Sagan for this. 
just so this episode does not take forever to kill this thing because Gallimoth has crazy HP. Seriously, the bestiary won't even l list it. It ha just has so many. I'm just gonna go ham with... Go ham on the Ritz with a side of cheese sagrum. Mmm. -hmm. Ow. Get so many attacks. You can get behind him with the mist and do, and do stuff as well. It's just the quickest way to do this. Ooh, I got him stun locked. Oh, are you serious? Have I stumbled along the way to beat him? Holy shit! Wow! Fucking stun locked him! Didn't even know you could do that! That's why the Chief Sagram is awesome! Grab our life max up. Let's see what's up here. And we have this bitch! Ooh! More heart and life max ups for our trouble. Further ahead. Here's the scout. Ruby circlet. And the gas cloud. Now, we have a yellow mist, which does damage over time. As we pass through enemies with it. And there's a little nook we didn't notice before. Oh no, that's everything. Okay. Um, I'm done here. I have to head back to that reverse entrance where I got the barrel circlet and explore more of that, but that's going to take a while. I will save that for next time on Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, wait, I have the wrong accent. Uh, oh, no.